the other in us. You won't find what you're not looking for. You can't hate what you love. Let it live in its world. Leave it in its place. Take something from him, but don't take it away. Live in an hour, grow in a day. Laugh in a minute for a lifetime. Love your life forever. Whatever we are looking for on our great journey through time is there, waiting for us to discover it. If it's the love we once lost, it'll be waiting for us again, somewhere else. If we have lost love for ourselves, we will have to look for it within ourselves. Believe me, the search within ourselves may be much more difficult because we encounter people we think we know but have never seen before. We will hear thoughts and feel feelings that seem to come from other worlds. They will crowd into our lives in a new and strange way, and yet one day we will feel that God has given them to us. Every morning as the sun rises and the day moves, we are moved through the day. We always believe that we determine for ourselves which goal we are headed for. It carries us a desire for bliss, which at first gives our hearts no rest. On days without sun we feel the cold of this world, and everything we do or want to do will either end in deep resignation or in reflection. There is always a little light, a hope, a little love or a truth waiting to be discovered by us. This is the moment when a great tremor arises from this gentle hint, you will hear your heart beating in your chest, feel your breath, your lungs will fill with the fresh morning air. Something happened the day you saw the light of God for the first time. You were called and you came here. What if I can't be here because I think I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time? Is there a wrong place at the wrong time? Wouldn't it mean everything was preordained? As we wander through mountains and valleys of time, places come and go. If we knew how fast we wander, then we would know how quickly the places we think we're going to pass by. And it's often not always the same places that we fear. Isn't it always the same sorrow that weighs us down? Now you see, you weren't gone at all. You stayed where you were and made no progress. Or has time stood still? Or is it just your watch whose hands wouldn't move? Did you want to hear that voice, or didn't it speak to you? Was it the voice of the world or was it your own voice asking you? Oh yes, it sounded strange and unintelligible. She was so far away from you, but she spoke silently from your throat. It was the voice of your soul. It is here in the now, in the somewhere, and also in the nowhere. You hear their message before it's borne by spirit or ether. In the hidden harmony of a dimension where words have no access and lips need not move. Yes, I can see while I sleep and also hear without ears in a world that I belong to and am part of. Part of another world that is here below us, above us, and also everywhere. A world that never sleeps and is always awake. 